Hello, this is Gata7, and today we'll be doing some ASM hacking. This is an intro to ASM hacking. Woo! Anyways, what you're going to need is my ASM toolkit here, which isn't mine. I just like put together a bunch of tools for you to use. And this is important. It must be a European ROM, not US version 1, not US version 2, not Korean, but European. It has to be European otherwise this tutorial won't work I know and you can't use US version 1 sorry you just can't anyways let's get started here so in the ASM toolkit we have the new Super Mario Bros editor and this thing here and this and I'm just going to copy this in this tutorial folder I already have links to the other editor so I won't worry about those Anyways, from this, what we're going to do is just cut this ASM patch, and that's what we're going to be using here. And I'm just going to name this ASM. Then I can just go delete this. And then, yeah, it's deleted, okay. And so once you do that, you're going to need to open your European ROM and uh, okay please tell me I copy that uh, okay thank you because I haven't uploaded the toolkit yet but it's important that before you do this tutorial you have DevKit Pro installed otherwise you won't be able to compile your custom code and you're going to have to click this and install and once you have it installed you can just go to all apps and it'll say uh See, we have DevKit Pro here, and yeah, we have all the things. That's great. That's great. So in this, you're going to you're going to go into uh, Documents and Tutorial. I'm European.nds, and you're going to hit Yes. And you can go back it up if you want to. I'll do it just in case. Then in ASM hacking, you're going to hit this button right here. Okay, and then hit OK. Please note that your ROM will not be compatible with the old version of the editor, so you're kind of stuck with the new one here. I think you might be able to do the same things I'm doing with the old one, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, once that finishes, you can just X out of it. And what we're going to need is to verify that our compilation of this ASM code works here. So I'm going to copy this ASM code. And you, in your documents folder, delete everything here if you already have it. And just paste it in documents ASM. It's important that you do that. And you also need to go in your tutorial and copy this ROM right here. And also put that in the ASM folder. Now, once that finishes, go in a. Uh... Nope, not that editor, new Super Mario Bros. E. And we're going to hit Open ROM. What we did earlier was. Uh... Actually, no, we're not going to do it just yet because we're going to verify that the compilation works. So what I'm going to do is teach you how to use MYSSYS. So in DevKit Pro, MSYS. Now you only need to do this once just to verify that everything is working. Although if you don't have things working later, I guess you need to do it then. So I'm going to go CD slash C to go to the CD, C drive, CD users, CD your username for your PC, CD documents, CD ASM. Okay, now the directory must be called this where you have everything. And type in make. Right now we're compiling some code here, 
and in the build folder you can see those all these compiled files and eventually we'll get new code.bin which is great and we know this works okay it also comes with that flood control thing and there's instructions on how to use it like the flood control something like I don't know, you just push this one button and you get the hover, yay. So you're going to open the I'm European ROM now. And to, in tools and options, you're going to hit this button right here. This one. Run it. And once again, it will compile everything regardless of what you did. And that's why it's important to have the European thing right there. And now we have the new code.bin has been successfully injected into the ROM. What that means is when we open it, we'll be, the new custom code will be in the ROM. No, sorry, the ROM. Although I'm going to go do a little post-editing for the ROMs to speed up the process. Okay, our ROM is running so far, and it's important to know that only works with, it doesn't work with Yoshi, so we need to unlock more Mario. And I just happen to conveniently replace a key, place a key right there, so we can do that a lot easier. Yay, okay. Okay, now Mario has been unlocked, because I got the key. Don't want to collect it again. Now I can go into this door. Or the game can just soft lock itself. Because Yoshi doesn't go in. Yeah. I'll go fix this in a second. Okay, let's see if he works now. Aha, we got it. Anyways, now if I hit hold Y, Mario will be able to hover. Or, I'm sorry, the, well, whatever button. It's one of the buttons I'm holding. Mario can float. And if I go in the water, it'll heal himself while you hold the float button. But yeah, now there's the flood in Mario. Now, of course, I didn't explain how to do, make your own code at all, but don't worry. I'll get into that later once I do it myself. <laughs> it's so funny just watching float like this. One thing that needs to be taken into work, no, is that... If you run this on the actual DS, it may not work how you want it to. And this is because of how uh, the DS reads it versus the emulator. So you'll probably have to talk, disable, like hit the toggle thing right here again. Like you probably need to hit this again and maybe it'll work for the actual DS. I'm not completely sure. Anyways, I hope you, yeah, that's probably what you need to do. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you all later.